Hello, welcome to your weather today. My name is Mr. G, your meteorologist. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're uh, watching me on TikTok or YouTube. And if you're watching there, please leave your follows and subscribe to the channel. On YouTube, leave your comments and your likes and everything like that and help support the channel that way. I don't ask for any money because I don't do this for any money, at least not yet. So. Uh, so what we're going to do in this video, we're going to take a look at what's going on across the country as far as areas of active and interesting weather. So we're going to take a deep dive into the radar areas here where we're seeing a little bit of wet weather right now, or at least interesting weather. And we're going to start off with Southern California right now and take a look at the next atmospheric river storm that's bringing heavy rain down the south coast there and we're going to look at all the potential for flooding and even thunderstorms that could take place down in southern california hey okay so here we are now as we are in southern california and we're looking at rainfall moving into the los angeles area most of that rain is to the west of long beach long beach is right about there this is where long beach is so the Interstate 710, so the 710 freeway is right about there going up to Pasadena. So uh, most of that rainfall is to the west of the 710 and Long Beach and Pasadena. So we're seeing that rain over Redondo, Santa Monica, Malibu, downtown, even just downtown. It's just right at the downtown Los Angeles area. And we're seeing that rain up towards back Ojai and uh, Ventura, Santa Barbara, and up the Central California coast. So Long Park. Uh, San Luis Obispo and all the way up to Monterey and maybe San Jose and close to the Bay Area We're seeing those showers and some embedded thunderstorms as well We're going to be looking at about a half inch to an inch of rain today across Southern California So let's take a look at the next area of interesting weather and we're going to go to the Pacific Northwest Okay, so here is one of the quieter days we've had across the Pacific Northwest yeah, we still have a few rain showers out there, some scattered showers and some sprinkles are still around. So there's, it's not a completely dry day, but it's much drier than it's been. So that is a bit of good news as you guys have had a lot of rain this year. And, uh, a little bit of a break in all the heavy rainfall is probably most welcome across the Pacific Northwest. We're more dry down in Portland. Then we are up around the Seattle area. We are seeing a few showers here off the coast here, and we're seeing a few showers here uh, from Seattle northward towards the Canadian border, and there's a few snow showers there over this, the Cascade Mountains. So a lot quieter day across the Pacific Northwest. So now let's take a look at what's going on across the Southeast. So, Mr. G here being unapologetically me once again as we talk about the weather that's taking place. Now, these are current conditions. It's not a forecast. This is just going over all of the trouble spots across the country. And one other trouble spot right now is down here across South Florida where we have an area of showers and thunderstorms that's about to make landfall there around the Tampa area, down through Naples and Fort Myers. We're seeing some scattered showers just off the coast. And then we got some showers here over South Florida that's going to be moving offshore around the Miami area and Fort Lauderdale in just a bit. So you're probably hearing some rumbles of thunder out there as those showers and storms are making their way towards the east coast of Florida. So we're going to see heavy rain continue and that threat for flooding down there across southeastern Florida as well. But we're going to see those showers and thunderstorms. Now let's go up the coast a little bit and talk about all of that rain in the mid-Atlantic states in the Carolinas as well as Virginia. We are seeing a ton of rainfall currently falling this afternoon. Okay, so here is our nor'easter type storm that's taking place right now over the mid-Atlantic states. We're seeing heavy rain down through North Carolina and through Virginia as well. We got showers and thunderstorms. We're going to pick up uh, maybe two or three inches of rain over this region over the next few days. This rain is going to last down here for the next several days. And there's another system down to the south that's going to come up and add to the rain that they've been seeing in the mid Atlantic. So you got about two storms to work through, and we got a bunch of rain up there across the Northeast. So uh, New York through 
Boston and into Maine got a lot of rain that's going to fall and you guys are looking at uh, one to three inches of rain along the coastal areas. A little bit less rainfall in the inland area. That rain is much lighter over upstate New York and western Pennsylvania. We're seeing rain as well and down toward two parts of uh, northern Georgia, Tennessee here and Kentucky and West Virginia but we're seeing lighter rainfall amounts over those areas. The heavier rain is along the coastal sections so the I-95 corridor is picking up the bulk of the precipitation in these next two events. So now let's go to our last spot across the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains where we got a little bit of snow taking place right now as one of the areas that's seeing snow today. We're not seeing a lot of snow out there across the country. Pretty quiet across the West for a change, but we do have a little bit of wintry weather across parts of the Plains right now. Okay, so here's our last stop of the day and we're taking a look across the upper Midwest we're seeing some rain down further to the south here. That snow way up there by the Canadian border. So we have snow by the Canadian border that changes over to rain right about this region here. And we have that uh, wind advisory here across the upper Midwest as well as we've been seeing those 20 to 30 mile per hour winds blowing out of the west. But we're seeing some rain showers down to the south and over here over parts of South Dakota as well as into Nebraska we got some rain showers and we might see some of those rain showers make their way up here to uh, the Twin Cities where we can see some rain showers later on this evening some light rain showers just through pass through or early in the morning tomorrow we can see those rain showers they might even be snow showers depending on how cold it actually gets out there when they come through so we have a rain or snow possibility coming up uh, here tomorrow morning across parts of the Twin Cities and the upper Midwest here. So that is a look at the weather trouble spots across the country. My name is Mr. G. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your likes, comments, and subscribe to both the TikTok and YouTube channels. Have a great day and we will be back tomorrow to help you uh, navigate that severe weather potential that's going to take place across the southeast tomorrow where we have a bigger threat today than we see out there today. All right, bye, guys. Bye-bye.